Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. I have a Zara perfume haul today. I stopped at the Zara as I was getting ready to come back to school. It's I don't have a Zara anywhere close to me, so I only stop maybe once or twice a year, see what they have, and I looked out. I picked up four fragrances during my last haul, and they were all on clearance, which was super exciting. I paid 44 for the four of them with tax and everything included, so I think it did really good. I wanted to tell you what I picked up, show you what uh, kind of some of the things they might have, some things to look for while you're there. Please ignore my nails. I they started chipping and then I started peeling at them, which I shouldn't, but they start like lifting up and I'm bad about that. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please leave me a comment. Let me know some of your favorite Zara fragrances, ones that you think I should look for, be on the lookout the next time that I get there, which won't be for like months. But let me know if there's anything that you think I would like or things that you think I should pick. All right, first up, we have the most expensive. I think this one was... $14. This is Le Heur Passant. Um, I don't speak French. I tried to listen and uh, that's, I could try to say it with the accent, but I feel like I would be making fun of the accent if I tried to do it. Uh, so anyway, this says an air of sunshine and escape around the winding streets of this picturesque town in Calabria. A cool, a striking cool breeze filled with sparkling and fizzy notes of lemon and bergamot reminiscent of the closeness of the sea, while the bitterness of Mandarin gives it all its character. The amber and musky undertones un highlight the serene atmosphere that emanates from the city where, while leaving a substantive, it was thirty-five ninety. They put the sticker over the rest of the, the little thing. Ha! Ah imprint in the memories so the notes that are listed on this it says into the joyful this is bergamot ginger and tonka bean which all sounded really good i'm not going to spray on the box i usually spray on the box but something is very sharp in my drawer where i was keeping these and it's one of these boxes and i'm not sure what it is so as soon as these um like i took them out of my drawer and as soon as i walked into my office because they were out to be filmed that sharp scent just would like hit me really hard and I don't know why what it is so this is what the bottle looks like it does have like a top that's a little different a little different style than I'm used to from Zara like I said though I don't shop there on the regular because I don't have one anywhere near me or my parents so we're gonna give this a spray mmm this tickled my nose this is really bright and uplifting it's citrus but I also get the z the ginger in there so it's like a little zesty but in a really nice way it kind of reminds me a little of light blue in that it's that citrus that bright uh, light type of a scent I'm not getting a lot of the tonka bean in here it feels more citrusy, more summery. I think this would be a really good, like uplifting scent, something really light and refreshing in the summer. And I don't know when these came out, like in terms of the year, because Zara does crazy stuff all the time. But I really like this one. I think this is a nice light one. And if you're looking for a nice citrus, I think this would be a good one. But like I said, they're all in clearance. So if you have a Zara, go see what they have because you never really know what they're gonna have. They have just so many random things and it depends on the location and if they're like clearing out things when they're supposed to because they don't always do that. The second one I picked up is this little one of Velvet Shadow. I forgot to tell you the size on the other one. The other size was, does it tell me anywhere? This is a 3.4 ounce. So this one was a 3.4 ounce. This one is just at one ounce and velvet shadow it says this cloud like fragrance is a delicate interplay between the crispness of mandarin the airiness of jasmine and the fluffiness of marshmallow creating an inviting almost tactile experience offering a sense of comfort and familiarity it captures the essence of a tender cuddle and the feelings of closeness with it that it inspires so the notes on this are bergamot jasmine and marshmallow it is the into the gourmand scent that they have so it has a very similar cap different color but it is like the same size when you look at them 
next to each other. This one is uh, more metallic, but the, the cap is bigger than the bottle in this case. When I saw Marshmallow as I was looking these up and looking for, where's the spray? There we go. I was like, ooh, Marshmallow. This reminds me a lot of Oriana. It's not as, or you could say, uh, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, but I think Party from Mr. Marley's Oriana, this is more akin to it. It's light, it's fluffy, you definitely get that marshmallow in there. There's a little bit of that jasmine floral back there, but it's not the key player. It's not as syrupy as Love Don't Be Shy, so that's why I think it's more akin to Oriana. Anyway, I really like this one. I was like, oh man, they only have a single uh, one ounce and it was $7.99, it actually rang up $5.99 because I was looking on the website, trying to look up notes on the Zara website. I know some of these were marked cheaper than they were on online than in store. And yes, sure enough, this one rang up $5.99 even though it was marked $7.99. Mm. If you like marshmallow scents, I think this is a really good one. It's light, it's not gonna be like overwhelming. I don't think this should be offensive to anyone. So I really, really like that one. I was very happy to find it. And then I found a 3.4 ounce and I looked it up and this one was $9.99. So of course I had to get both of them. I was like, well, maybe I should just get the large one. And then I was like, $5.99. Why am I leaving a perfume here for $5.99? I think this might be the box that's so sharp. And I don't know why it is so sharp, but I do have the uh, 3.4 ounce. Oh, that's interesting. So these guys have like the metallic lids, the 3.4 ounces. The one ounce just have like a black lid, but they are the same size lids, which is interesting. So I don't know why I stacked it like that, but Velvet Shadow, if you like marshmallows, this I think is a really good one. If you are looking for something similar to Love, Don't Be Shy, this would be a good one. I think this one is way more marshmallowy and nice than the Marshmallow Addiction. That was. That one is not my favorite. Yeah, see this one still smells good. I'll spray the other end. Mm, yeah, if you're looking for something with marshmallow, but maybe you don't like orange blossom too much, I think this would be a good one. Or you just want something lighter than Love Don't Be Shy because that one can have quite a presence. This is a good alternative. All right, the final fragrance I picked up was Spring Blossoms Cascade. This one caused a whole bunch of issues though. This was a 3.4 ounce. This is one of the ones that they did in collaboration with Joe Loves of Joe Malone, formerly of Joe Malone. And um, so this is what the bottle looks like. It looks like the other ones that uh, were created in conjunction. It does have like the little signature here. It says the magic of floating flower blooms rushing by carrying its precious scent cargo an absolute delight. Uh, this is the blooms collection. I don't think that's the bottle or the box that's bothering me. I think it's one of the other ones. Anyway, this one was on sale for, well, it wasn't even on the website at this point. It had been out for such a long time. Let me give you the notes because it doesn't say on the actual packaging. So Joe Malone, like I said, was the nose behind this. The notes are bergamot and peony, middle notes are honeysuckle and ylang ylang, and base note is sandalwood. This is definitely a floral scent. It has a little greenness to it, like almost like you've stripped some leaves or pulled off, like pulled off the leaves of the honeysuckle tr uh, bush or tree or whatever. I know I've had, like I've actually had honeysuckle and I remember my parents being like, you can taste the honey with it. And I remember doing that, but I don't know if it's classified as a bush, as a tree. I think it's a bush. I don't know, I'm not a floral, I'm not an arborist or a herbologist or any of those things. This is nice, it is a, there. it is a floral but that greenness almost gives it a little bit of citrus in there as well. So it's not overwhelming floral, it's kind of, um, How do I want to describe this? It's it's an uplifting floral. It's not 
a heady floral. I don't think, I don't think it's, um, it's a floral with lots of citrus in it. I'm getting a little bit of some of the other notes. I don't really get a lang, -a -lang cause that usually is like, I don't usually like a lang, -a -lang in a lot of my fragrances. I feel like it's a little too, uh, waxy, um, too tropical. I don't get a tropical feel from this. Um, I guess that bergamot is really, I'm getting the bergamot a lot. I feel like it's bergamot and honeysuckle more than anything else. If I was going to like try to pick out the notes. Anyway, uh, this one was very difficult to find a price on because it was no longer in their system. And I was like, well, I know it's on clearance cause it's, you know, I don't want to pay $45. So they like tried to look it up. The manager came over, they spent some time and they're like, thank you for being so patient. And I was like, well, you're helping me out. And I've worked retail. I know, uh, that, you can't always help things. So eventually they gave it to me for $9.99. They gave it to me for the same price as my Velvet Shadow, which I was a little confused why Velvet Shadow was clearance more than the other one, but I wasn't gonna complain. So I got two for $10, one for $5.99 and one for about 15. I thought that was a great deal. I was very excited. Let me know if you've tried these. Let me know um, your thoughts on them as well. Let me know if there's ones that I think you think I should try? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.